Troops, Riley's gaff is brought to you by G4 Claims. If you're involved in an accident and it was not your fault, and don't, if it was your fault, don't even bother phoning, right? If it wasn't your fault, get in touch with them, not at faultclaim.com, and the number is 01698 767 172. So get in touch with them. It's a free process. They're going to take care of all your stresses and sort everything out for you. Also, if you want to receive every episode ad free, what else, Jamie? Uh, extra bonus content, extra deep fried every single month. If you're right. a fan of deep fried, you need to get over to the Patreon. So you can subscribe to our Patreon at patreon.com forward slash Riley's Gaff. There's so many perks. As we said, ad, every episode ad free, bonus episodes, bonus deep frieds, behind the scenes stuff. And we'll deliver a Bucks bar to your house every Aye. month. Aye. And you get to ask guest questions as well, which you don't get to do normally. So. Aye, if you want to support us, patreon.com forward slash Riley's Gaff. Enjoy the podcast. Change, but you know for the most part my name's different Sometimes be stuck in my ways Weekend fucked up in somebody's kitchen Stick in my hand I'm chilling with the trips in my few cans do So I walk like Winston Trust me I wake up hanging You hang that I'm leaving this bed You're kidding I'm sitting on back in the pad Get deep fried and I smoke some packs of the grass Put the feet up, kick back and relaxing your best No I'm sticking on Riley's gal but I heard, I heard like now you're talking about that. Does that is it fucking? I'm going to butcher this. Does a mad? Ah, oh, I can't even remember enough. It's like does a mad guy who was like a mad. It might have been was it Isaac Newton or something? Somebody a like mad that. Guy. Just the one of them. <laughs> I guys, was expecting bro. you to something. See if you can find this jambo somehow <laughs> on, on God's <laughs> earth, if you could find this. Like something one of his factories or something that he owned. <laughs> So fake, bro. <laughs> but it's good. Like, right, go, go, go. Get it, it's good, bro. Trust me. But he, like his life's work got bumped down basically in front of him, right? His life's work go like there was a fire in his business. I know you mean. I get you, right? And he went and he, he watched it and he said um, he went he, like he's sitting watching it burn like everything he'd worked for burn. Mm-hmm. And uh, he's he just the first thing he said was like. He said to his kid, go get your mum and that, like, they'll never see a fire as beautiful as this. And it's like, he immediately accepted what had happened and then just started, like... It became enlightened, bro. I, it's like just actual. like, he just let go, like, because that never, that never meant anything but to him. That is an actual Buddhist awakening, aye, genuinely, bro. Th- like aye, that's what I'm talking about. That's fucking... I love when shit like that happens, like, it, like I'd love him to just be a mad normal person aye. and then he's just felt this mad thing that's pure... Amazing, know what I mean? No, that's just reminded me of for some reason. See, um, Picasso, mm-hmm. see, he started painting, right? He went schizophrenic and that, but he was painting and he'd done like every single style of painting over like 60 years or something and it changed to being more depressive and you could see he's mad, he did it. And then in the end, they, he'd started doing the Picasso paintings, mm-hmm. everybody knows with the eyes all, all the place and shit. And he said, like, it took me my full life of painting to realise what I was painting in the beginning was good. Like, when he was away, he just copied like he's mad. I thought that was That's good. It's a mad bro. search, bro. Like your full life, pure searching for something, and you're like, oh fuck, I had it when I was actual wee and as innocent and shit. You know what I mean? That is fucking mental. It's an uplifting story, it's, it's, it, bro. It's enlightening, mate. It's, it's very enlightening. <laughs> it's a good start to the trips, pod, bro. We're back. Mm-hmm. We're back with a bang. Mm-hmm. Um, we're going to look into some Patreon stuff today, and we're going to start with the day because we always. For these episodes, right, what we do, Troops, right, on Patreon, we'll say, right, if it's just going to be me and Jamie just sitting about, we'll be like, right, Troops, what do you want us to talk about? We'll we'll, we'll go with the flow, as they say. The kids are actually saying that, Jamie. Is that what this is? The kids thing? are saying that, apparently. <laughs> oh, go, it's like, go with the flow, it rhymes and everything. It's oh, beautiful. Right. I'm I like the it. flow. I, I'm, <laughs> I'm, I'm absolutely loving it. But... I thought we better start with the day because we always get so much and then don't get ruined. Aye, well, the thing was, I seen it earlier on and, like, patrons heavy came through, like, actual so many comments. Immediately, like, man, it's getting mad on It is, mate, they're the fucking best, but, um, I, as you say, like, we always end up coming on and just letting our mad, just minds wander, mm-hmm. not I mean? And then talk for, like, well, how long we done? It's, like, two hours and you're like, oh, fuck, like, Aye. we need to, like... 
squeeze this in now, so it's like gain that priority because they're all it's always pure good bits of the podcast. I know they're the best, they're the best. So I say we just get into one right for the get go. So we've got them on screen here. Um, first, is that the first one? That's mm-hmm. the first one, man. Yep. right? Fanny Destroyer, right? Legend, of legend, the, legend of the Patreon. Bam up phone calls, please and thank you. I mean, so I think um, should that no be a uh, it's in. I saying hang maybe bro but like I was thinking like when would, when would we film like what do you think the vibe would be us filming what? prankies mate so Wait, I, I was thinking prankies right so I think prankies. what he means is watch them right and I think he's talking no. about the mad ones see the mad George Galloway ones it's like it's an era do you know what? I think we should listen to them and react to them what the mind is like Daniel Daniel's who not and he like bams up the Daniels and all that I have don't you know I've heard it oh, it's like uh, he phones up a scrapyard that's owned by the Daniels and he's like Right, you fucking poof. And like he says mad shit, and you hear the mad, the, like the. It's always a mad notable person. Like there was one with Andy Smiley, that uh, is the mad Rangers guy, you know that. Aye. Like, they're heavy good. I think we should actually react to them. Right, fuck it. Let's watch them because. Do you like, know what I'm talking about, Jambo? I don't know. No, you need to go search? to YouTube and go to the YouTube. The click YouTube? on the search bar, right, and type this. Galloway bam ups, <laughs> or sort of like Galloway prank phone calls. I think it will come up. I think it's George Galloway, mate. It's the like old ones for aye, mate. Is it no? What are we? What is the mad ones that we watch? The Paisley tapes. The Paisley tapes. Is, is it that? The same thing. Aye, that is that, and it. He did that. No, well, I don't know. Type in. Watch, I'm it sure sounds like you're describing the same thing. I'm sure we've watched them, but type in like it, have we? Gym and I think we've watched them no, before. We watched them with Sean. Uh, Sean. Was it Sean? Oh, I didn't. I must have not watched that. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think I did. Like that rang a bell when you said it, but. I just knew I hadn't been here. Do you want to watch one? Aye, a wee bit. I want to watch the Daniels one, bro. I think it's the Daniels. Type in, like, prank co- phone call Daniels. Imagine I get up here down. Why are you... Wait, that's it, mate. The scrapyard one. See, Paisley... T- aye, it's, it's called Paisley Tapes. No, I'll go back. Aye, that one. Let's do it. That picture? I know. All right, ball bag. Look, I've got a problem, but it's your fucking problem now, because I need a bonnet for my motor. I felt that you got for me. So I put it into a lamppost. What? I put it into a lamppost, and I need a bonnet now. You got one? It's a Nissan Cherry. A Nissan Cherry? What year? Uh, I don't know. It's an E. E Reggie. Yeah, an E Reggie Cherry bonnet? Snudge. 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 <laughs> What? No, just, is that his name? No, That's a not. fucking stupid name. A bit like you and us. Hey, don't you start with me, you puffy prick. <laughs> Lose the attitude. Me hey, attitude. Hey, don't you start. Hey, but I, I know who you are. Yeah. Ah, you're that puffy looking guy with the dark hair. Are you a wank? Oh, oh, what do you say? Don't you start that with me. I mean, you're going to do your fucking right. Hey, are you going to get this bonnet for <laughs> me or what? I'm going to get you need to start your attitude with me, you Hey, I'll right. take a hammer to you. You'll take a hammer to me, you <laughs> fucking prick. I'll take up. a hammer to nah. you. You're a wank. So that's an actual like, scary man He's doing that to you know what I mean I didn't even realise that's what that was I just uh, thought it was a random No it was I'm sure it is mate Other lines or something Like it's a mad notable person uh, Like a mad nutter obviously Why would you even do that? Mate I know And <laughs> see like See like the, the way he talks He's like Put it into a lamp post That is so good so bro I think it doesn't feel perfect Because he sounds like he, he masters like sounding so weird but sounding heavy believable like, <laughs> at the same time like the he's way like he does on it. the line but it's, mate do you know what it's similar so, to he speaks so confidently that you're like this could be seen mate do you know what it's actual like and I don't know if we've watched it in the podcast yet it's actual like uh, watch out pipsqueak watch I, out like, that's what I, it's I, like bro I, isn't it have we watched it's that like, yet it's like getting a mad cunt to be like <laughs> Who is he picking? Aye, mate, we can't wait to watch him. Like, that's not a bam up as well. That's in the same Aye, thing. like, we'll count that. This is the new version, mate. TikTok bam up. If you've not seen this, this is like one of the funniest things on TikTok. It, sometimes I feel quite bad in them. No. Wait, there's a guy, right? We need to get this one, right? There's the, a guy the, that's... The, the type in. Aye, so it's Jair that's Boys. Them, so they're that's going, it, yeah. they're going to their account. Aye. So there's one that's like, he says it to a guy and he, he actually pure like. Oh, does he? He bumps, yeah. in, he, he bumps into him, right? And the comments are like, uh, the comments are like, oh, he, this guy is easy pickings. <laughs> <That's laughs> like so bum- we need to find it, man. It's so funny. Mate, the ones I always see the cunts are that like, pure go- get wide of them in that. Right, mate, just click on anyone. They're all good. <laughs> They're all so good.
Watch a tough guy. <laughs> Turn your phone around. What's going on? Okay, this time you need to leave. For what? <laughs> Private property, you need to go. I've never been told what to do by a pipsqueak. Okay, time to go. <laughs> it's just okay. Not gonna outwalk me, buddy. Taller than you, pipsqueak. <laughs> Taller than you, pipsqueak. Long goes straight, it's like my wheelchair. First name, easy, last name, Pickens. <laughs> Watch it, guy. <laughs> the, the balls and all, but so funny, in man. one of them, a guy's like, Look at the state who you're not even. So I'm imagining him being a mad skinny wee guy. You know what I, mean? I don't know what's funnier if he was a mad wee, like, and if he was a pipsqueak or if he was so. Mate, but I seen a video of him and the mad cunt actually tries to hit him or take his phone or something, <clears> and then it just cuts half, but he posted it. So I don't know. I mean, I think he's. just be a bit. Um, you must need to. Just to, like. I think he's like the page he where he's fair, bro. Yeah, aye, mate. Aye, he's just walk about. That's how I can imagine Paige doing that. Aye, he would not give a fuck. He would 100% do that, mate. <laughs> mate, bye. That mate, was how a much bit... do you know think we need to get him on this Aye, podcast? Aye, 100%, bro. I, mate, I was saying we should do like a UFC fight companion with him. Aye, that'd be good, but we need to we'll be Patreon exclusive. Aye, it would need to be, man. Aye. That would get dangerous. We'd get mad with that. Aye, that would be good, that Phone bits in. <laughs> mate, I'm like five yeah. in the morning, mate. Aye. Or creeping in the studio, man. <laughs> I went to his feet. <laughs> Mate, do you know what the thing is about watching UFC trips? And if you watch UFC and you get on it, watching it, this is, you'll know exactly what I'm talking about here. The thing we watching UFC is, right? Say you're up, you're obviously doing what you need to do to stay up and be awake for them and that, right? Mm. So it, that's all good. It's brilliant, right? Right up to the main event. You're like, yes, main event's done, and then you're like, but did they know I'm actually wild at my nut? And like, it's like daft a cloak. it's like seven, eight in the morning. You're know, like, but mate, I, that that thought doesn't occur to some people. Like, I know people no. that's just like, if they are out and getting on it, they'll be out and on it for days and that. Mm. It's just like, and it's like they go go to the shop at ten in the morning and all that. Like, see when I've ever aye, had aye, to, well, well, aye, definitely. See, but. see when I've ever had to do that with cunts, but like if I if I'm going somewhere, and it's like, aye, obviously I'll stay on it and that, and like get a booze, show bottoms and all that. I never want to, I'll always just date them. Mate, did you ever? Did you ever get cunts that would like slag cunts for like? Like eating and that, like and like sleeping and shit. Aye, like pure aye, 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 and that. Aye, you're like, ah, obviously I'm not getting a munch fuck sake. Yeah. Munch <laughs> cheating, know what I mean? Like all that, and you're aye. like, can't just pure, yeah. can't just pure like revel in the pure the the the, the marathon. I did pure, I cause it the was endurance, bro. Me, I used to get on it with a cunt, right? And no joke, I used to run like. He used to run like every day, like miles, you know what I mean? Like pure long distance. Don't think he'd done pure, he was not a pure, f- like, didn't go to the gym and that, but he just ran all the time. And he could get on it for days and be sound. And that, like, we used to be like, I guarantee that's j- something in that, like, that something in that stamina translates Aye, it air. It must, mate, because it's all just energy in Aye. different places, isn't it? Aye. Aye, it definitely must. Mate, see, talking about energy in different places, right? <laughs> How particular was that? Like? <laughs> just reminded me of something there. Like, I was listening to um, Duncan Trussell was talking about how, like, you know how we say, like, um, on Deep Fry, we've done, like, uh, UFO fucking spot uh, sightings and shit. Mm-hmm. And we, we always say that they're, all the sightings came after we... Um, like the world had its first nuke. Aye. Do you know what I mean? Like, it came after that, and kids are like, oh, it's because now the aliens, why he'd be like, what's going on? Aye, here? nuclear and energy Aye. and shit. Aye. But he said it's like a mad, I don't know what he said, it was something like quantum physical level or something, because, see, because like every atom that he, that's here is in like another universe and another one that's all like repeated. Mm-hmm. Like, if you nuke one planet, you're, you nuke like, Everything. What, in a multiverse aye, kind of aye. scenario? So, aye. like, it's because it's that powerful or something. It's aye. weird. It breaks like a mad hanging Aye, 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 because it's mean. like, aye, it's that's mad. A, that sounds like something that's like, sorry, that sounds like <laughs> something that's like unbelievably true. You know what I mean? Like one of the things that you're like, no, that can't, aim. that doesn't make sense in my head. You know what I mean? Mate, see, before we go into this next one, I need to tell you a story about. I told Jamie this on the way here, mate. So, I couldn't, my, I, I wasn't in my work at this time, right? I get told a legendary story, mate. Um, do you remember it? I think I know what you're talking about. No, I don't know if it is the same one I'm thinking about. Maybe there are multiple. The, <laughs> the one about the, the picture on that. Aye. Right. Aye. So, bro, I got told this story, right? There's this mad guy in our work before I even got there. And he was one of these cunts that was just pure, 
like just a book come in come in work and just talk shit. Like mm-hmm. he was in like they said he was in the TA and he used to always talk about being in the well, army is and that all that. territory. Aye, aye, but it's like I'm mad. It's like the reserves. In, it's like the boys' brigade. Bro, you know what I mean? <laughs> Get done. It's like but, sa- Salvation Army aye, or something. Aye, but it's no like you would you would say it was that. Know what I mean? But he was like, oh, man, he used to always like talk about shagging and that. And he said they said that they, um, he said to the man, "Day, yeah, guess when I pumped that weekend uh, No, that who?" And he said, "Eyes off his old game, right?" Right. But he kept every time they would talk, he would just call her Isa, right? And it was like, <laughs> Do you, you obviously did not if that's what you're calling her. You know what I mean? Like, Isa. <laughs> As if you don't even I, know her. Like, like you, you, you shagged the actress that plays Isa and you still are just calling her Isa. She, she, like, Isa's a character that looks nothing like the actor. Isa like, is, is like an old woman. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? So it's That's, like, did you did you get her to dress up as Isa? She just had a wank to still give her. So this this guy used to talk a pound of shite and that, and they would always be talking pumping buds and on apps and all that. So they set up a fake Tinder, right? And put like just googled mad blonde hot girl and just put mad pictures, like pure obviously fake pictures, and started messaging him on it and that. And he would come into work and be like that. My bird messengers like that and all that and like scrolling through, oh, right? Mate, and they had they had the Tinder for it, right? The login <laughs> right. that was messaging them. So, but they were like, th- when I was talking to him about this, they were like, I don't know how he never clicked on because they would only talk to him on our break times, right? Aye, aye. And they're like, how is he no clicked on? Like, 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 that. Aye, like the only time they message is when we run our breaks, right? Aye. So surely you'd be like, how is this just happening by chance? <laughs> you would but that he, but he never even clicked on, right? So they kept this thing going. I feel bad for him, bro. Mate, it gets so much worse, right? <laughs> Didn't get worse, it's so much worse. So they got that to him, like, he, I think he was ramp, ramping up the horny chat, you know what I mean? So he's like, ah, blah, blah, blah. You're so people. Ah, he was just wanting to take things to the next stage, so they were like, ah, right, get your cock out, right? <laughs> go, go in your work, go in your work to do, go into the toilet, get your cock out, send a picture. So, he done it and said this to them. <laughs> and they just had this picture, and they were like, oh my god, like, what the fuck is well, going mate, on? See, at that point, I bet the people that were doing it were like, this is even good. To Aye, like, mate, like mate, what but, have we got with this? See, see, after that, they were like that. The kids on to be, they were like that. We we work next to a, a Tesco and they're like that ah, here. Fucking come I want to shag you know, come meet us at Tesco car park and he actually went up to supervisor and was like ah, I need to go, man. That bad bird's wanting to meet us and I, that's, yeah, I told the, the truth. That's, what, that's the like reason he gave, not I mean it was like well, I need to go, you know what I mean? I, so so he actually left, got his stuff on and went air to Tesco to meet this bird who was like no that's real. Fictional bird. Aye. Bro, I respect him so much for no lying, mate, because I, see when you were but saying he never found it and he just thinks he's he just thinks still, the one, the one, that, the one that got away man. see see, <laughs> see, see it slipped through imagine yeah. every night oh, I had it in the palm Matt, of my hand every night he's pure trying to sleep he's like just uh, if I just caught her <laughs> I mean, just the right two, this is making me the, so the, sad the, no no it is it's the right people meeting each other at the wrong time <laughs> It's the two right people and it's the wrong time says that he talks about it every time he gets steaming uh, for years I, but, but, See, oh, that no. Samantha I used to do it. <laughs> You're like, bro. Uh, that, oh, poor that'd be guy, so mate. heartbreaking. That's a fucking sin, mate. You reminded me, I know when to get on uh, the next Patreon suggestion, but you reminded me um, no long ago, right? I was on a site with a cunt, and I need to see when I'm on a site, when I'm doing like testing, and sometimes need to use like a, a digger, like a JCB, so the machine driver will always be there. And he's like, oh, they're always just like, oh, fucking get a wee sky because I need to, they don't do it and they just sit still. And I just get talking to them sometimes. And I was like talking to this guy, right? And he's talking about, like, he was like, aye, so, um, I, he's talking about, like, he, how he'd done renovations for a guy that stayed in uh, Thornton Hall, right? Yeah, like, yeah. he's like, it's in between, like, he's come in Thornton Hall. And I was all right. And he was like, so doing his renovations. And he says, eh, uh, by the way, I've got some. I've got a special visitor coming in later, and I said to guy, "Oh, that's all right. I'll stay in my. I'll just stay here in my my uh, JCB. Don't worry about it." And, and he was like, "No, come up and meet him. Come up and say hi." And he's like, "So the helicopter comes in to a heli." He said, "The helipad." He's like, "Helicopter comes in. Guess who steps out? Cristiana Ronaldo." <laughs> I, mate, I swear. I swear on my life, mate, that's what he said. And it was like that, mate. Cristiano Ronaldo. It may not have been as mate, bad as that, but that's what I heard. No, and I, he no, looked like mad, mad. What age was he? Like, 
55. Mate, guys at like that age, that's the way they say, Afraid of my rest. Aye, 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 it was they like, can't like quite, they've got it, but it's no quite. Aye. You know every time what they're talking but about. Bro, he was like looking at me, like waiting like for my reaction. I was like, That is insane. I was like, Madness, bro. Do you meet him then? Aye. Was he like, Oh, good English, that? Aye, right. And that was it. And I just walked away and didn't speak to him again the full day. Because obviously, like, how do you even where communicate do you go, with where, like where do you go for that? <laughs> for meeting Cristiano Ronaldo in the East Coast Brain. Do you think, could you go and chat GPT? Could could we uh, get find out if Cristiano Ronaldo has ever been in East Coast Brain? We can try. Th- that subject, if anybody knows, it'll be chat GPT, bro. Sh- One time, Cristiano Ronaldo. Uh, doing a job uh, for... <laughs> <laughs> the guy's name was Willie or so. Willie. Hey, he met Willie on the Why am I speaking like the Queen? That's what, like, mate, in fact, we could day, we could day, we could go into, I seen a, a Patreon question there that would fall into that accents, mate. Somebody right. wants us to rate. I will go back on to the, never mind, Cristiano Ronaldo has never stepped foot in Glasgow, never mind. Mate, we'll never bro. know unless he has <laughs> <a> chat GP. <laughs> right. Molly Mila. The best in town. The best in town at providing the meals. It's in the bloody name, isn't it, guys? Mm-hmm. Look, troops, if you've been listening for a while, you know the script with Molly. Molly provides only the finest meals, Jamie. Quality ass meals. What are, what are some of your favourites that have been there oh. so far? Just over the months, Jamie, because she does change it every single month. Well, mate, I do love the Nando's chicken with the, uh, the halloumi oh, and the halloumi. peas and the Nando's sauce. Absolutely oh. beautiful. But the best one I think we've always said is the chicken jambalaya. S- oh. Simply exquisite, bro. Aye, it's exotic. What, for have the- they, what have we got coming up this month for Mo- oh. Molly Mila? I'm glad you asked, Jamie. So this month, Molly's changing it up and she's bringing back some classics. So this month for the standard meal, she's got roast chicken with garlic potatoes, veg and gravy, smoked sausage, creamy tomato, pen pasta. Oh my goodness, we've not had that yet. No, the, the nation's favourite, the Chinese-style chicken curry with rice, is oh. making a comeback. Uh, as you can see, Jamie is rubbing his nipples at the sheer thought of sticking that in the microwave. Uh, sticky barbecue chicken thighs with sweet potato mash, tender stem broccoli, sweet chilli prawns with garlic potatoes, creamy tomato pen, which is a uh, vegetarian, and veg Chinese-style curry. That sounds unbelievable, mate. And, you know, with Riley's gaff, if you do want to order uh, Molly's meals to keep you nice and fit, she is going to do a wee offer where if you order five meals, which is the minimum order, if you order them, she's going to throw in two free breakfast meals. And what kind of things can you get for a breakfast meal, mate? If you mention Riley's gaff, by the way. Um, So... For the breakfast meal, she's got the healthy fry-up, oh. the Biscoff overnight oats, which are unbelievable, the Nutella overnight oats, which I've not tried. Molly, sort me out. Sort me out. Um, she's also got high-protein meals as well, which are a bit more expensive, because uh, there's more of it. Uh, that's just how the economy works, people. Um, so, I to order, get in touch with Molly at Molly's Meal Preps on Instagram. And all you need to do is DM her and say, look... I want to order, I seen you on Riley's gaff, and you don't need to say, am I going to get the, am I going to get the offer, please Molly? You don't need to say that, she just knows, she knows the script She's by now. She's a business woman, alright? You can get them delivered, or you can pick them up at the Milton Muscle House, baby. You sure can. Is it, what's the real name? Uh, Performance 22, the best gym in town. The best gym. Recently voted one of the top 500 gyms in Milton. So, get ordering trips, and keep that belly looking trim. In a party, I just want to rock. Big boots and what's the top. Let's, let's go on. So, aye, next one, I'm just going to start reading them as I see them, right? Joe Sinclair, shout out to the cunts in Eindhoven who watch the podcast. <laughs> I, um, Joe messaged uh, our Instagram. And he said, like, he bumped into people in Eindhoven Airport or something. Uh, he was like, he was doing a crossover, a layover at Eindhoven, and he met a cunt, and they were talking about my fictional injury that you made up on a Patreon thing. <laughs> so it's two patrons, must be. Must be two patrons. So if you're the Eindhoven person, the Eindhoven patron, speak up, bro. Aye, you need to get into contact with us. <laughs> We've got some business. But we've got a question for the legendary Stan Marsh, bro. Maybe my favourite video of all time. Mate, I tried to click this earlier and then it um, said it was deleted, but surely no. Oh, Aye, mate, mate, that's happened twice. Jink, it's like if somebody, sh- somebody shares the link. 
I'd, and like, maybe if it had like, s- it like we- little it views, wakes, or it wakes the algorithm up. Uh, like, oh, 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 get out of here! Maybe that. Mate, like, I was like a gorilla that just woke uh, up, pulls up, and just starts smashing things oh, up. No, 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 <laughs> Bolton. <laughs> <laughs> the algorithm's a mad old guy. <laughs> An angry algorithm. We can all have that. Aye, we've got... Well, <laughs> that Marshall video did not um, show. It mm-hmm. did not show. Big fan, though. Big fan of your work. Ross Archibald, accents across the UK, best to worst. <laughs> right, so what, like, what accents we got, right? Do I just do a tap five? All right, we'll do all the accents in. Tap five. I would need a bit of time for that. <laughs> right, I've got so a lot to think about you've got Welsh. We'll just do all Welsh, right? Because Welsh is like... Should we rate them at a, like five each of them? Aye, do that then. Do right, that. Wait, throw his accents, Jambo. You got a mic there? Are they? Uh, Why don't you get up like... Accents, UK accent. UK accent list. Because that'll give you ones that we might not think of. Aye. Know what I mean? Like you West ready, Yorkshire. Are but... you ready to get your accent rated? Aye, bro. Oh, do we need to do it? What? Oh, aye. Right, no, I thought you were no. talking to me there, bro. He's on top what? Time. I'm not talking that to you. Are you ready to, <laughs> <laughs> to rumble? Are you ready to rumble? <laughs> Right, right. Number one, Scottish. Oh. Where it should be, bro. Surely Beautiful. that's no one, but because you've got like no, I, I, I think it's just gone like geographically or something. Aye, well, aye, well, we need to right. So in right, in, in, in Scotland, right. Aye, so you've got Highlands, then. you get Fifa, you've got Ouija, and you've got <laughs> that. <cut. laughs> no, what's what? what, what you, Your accent is an Ayrshire accent, which is so similar to Glasgow. I think it's an accent, yeah, you, the only thing is we say some words you don't say. We, there's no difference in accent. You say brer. You say some <laughs> words, say man. Brer. You say some words that... Because when I hear... I found, out, I found out last week you don't say gads. Gads, what? I Mate, that, my cousin say gads, gads? and they're for government. What? Just what? Like, it's disgusting. Um, I mean, that, it's disgusting. Uh, gads, but mate, do you know what's weird? Do you know like... It's like boss. Cunt say it in... I've seen cunt say it in London. Like, I've seen mad Londoner cunt saying that now. Like they go like, I like say shit that like my cousins for Gervin say. So it's, it's, it's making it down to the London part. Is it, Jake, that's the accent, up uh, the upcoming accent. <laughs> Aye, bro. That, you know, that's our best newcomer. <laughs> XXL freshman, bro. <laughs> <laughs> right, so go, like, Glaswegian. Oh, beautiful. What do you think? Five out of five? Ten out of ten? I need to, like, that's how I talk. I need to back my. Aye, myself, what about like West End? I think still 10 out of 10, I respect how, them, bro. How long is this going to take? <laughs> no, but we're well, just... Let's get into uh, the villages outside of Liverpool. <laughs> <laughs> right, no, go. So, right. West End accent, I think it's still 10, I respect them, bro. I respect the, the West End accent. Mate, you know what I noticed, man? Because it's I was, so, like, mate, embarrassing was... and they just keep doing it. No, it's a... No, is, I was going to say, is it a bit of a myth, but it's definitely a real thing. No, it is, mate. It is. I played a football team for Kelvin Grove or something the other day, and they all were like, I, you, I thought they were bamming you... me up because they were talking like that. I thought they were bamming me up like that. And I was like, what? No, And then I realised it was just being normal. I was like, all right, aye, mate, aye. Um, so, aye. So, Edinburgh. Did you say 10? Aye, 10, I like it. You, like, <laughs> you rate it? Aye, I, I, I respect cool. them for still doing it. Right, I think, right, why don't we just do, like, Scottish... Just the Edinburgh. Aye, right, so Edinburgh, like, I kind of, I like it a bit. Aye. It's a bit of, a bit of grit. Aye. It's, See, but, like, know, know who's, know who's accents, bad. get, get this up, right? <laughs> we can't YouTube. spend this much no, time on accents. No, I, no, but I just want, like, I just need, need you to hear this guy talk. You know who I'm talking about? Ga- is it Gary Locke, the mad old hearts manager? Aye. You know what I'm talking about? Can we get a video of him talking? Type in Gary Locke with an E at the end of it. Aye, I, I think, is it no pure, like... Mate, this guy, this is like proper. This guy? <laughs> is that his name, actually? I know. Gary I look at si- si- like Cy Ferry Meets. Cy Ferry Meets Gary Lock. Why, what's Open Goal? Right, um, welcome back to Riley's Guy. <laughs> We're all. watching Open Goal. <laughs> We're reacting to Open Goal. <laughs> Down. Mate, somebody, somebody uh, deserves uh, that. Oh, here Paul we go. McLean was the manager at the time, you're sitting like. What's happening here? It's a friendly, we're doing nine men. Uh, I do like yeah. it, mate. It's like you real know, Scottish, isn't it? It's something that it happens a lot. You, you, yeah, you're yourself, you're not on training pitches. Right, uh, right pause it, right? Lose your ag- so while we're here, what about Dundee accent? Let's say, Ferry. I think it's... It's like... What are you saying? You know, it's like that. It's quite... I like it. I like quite, um, Kyle Faulkner. Kyle Faulkner's the best. I, I like that. I, I like... Uh, Dundee's probably my favourite accent, bro, apart from G-Town, obviously. Right, I think... 
Grat, <laughs> this just takes right, a Right, just right. move on to like Highlands now. But we'll not even give them a number or Right, that. 10 for Glasgow, 8 for Edinburgh, and 9 for Dundee. <sighs> All right, I agree with that, yeah. I agree with that. <laughs> right. Right, but let's just go further up. Right, Aber- Hi- Aber- Highlands. Aberdeen. Right, the Doric accent, that's called. I don't like it. I actually despise it. <laughs> I really don't like the Aberdeen accent. There's something for it, just... I know he's very but someday Tell that twat, here, here, there's a kid. See, see, it's where I'm about the same guy. I, I was talking to about this. Told me there was a guy who. <laughs> this is a wild saying, by the way, and I don't even. You need to prepare yourselves for this, right? Try and get this in your head. A guy who had been used to work in there, right, and he would come in every morning and, and say, he day a dance like that, right, and go, how's your ass for cracking pan drops? What does that mean? How's your ass from cracking pan drops? How's your ass for cracking pan drops? So that's like shiting, then, like pan drops. Aye. Uh, that sounds like a shite. How's your ass for shiting? That's what he's saying. But why would you be. <laughs> how's your ass? You've been shiting, Hurdles. <laughs> how's your ass for shiting there? Would it be I hate, when, I hate when cunts say good ass after the fart. You ever heard that? Who says I've that? Heard that. I've heard Aye, they go, that. good Who's... ass after the fart, mate. It's like mad. <laughs> I always used to hear it because when I worked in a mate, fucking no, no, garage. Aye, mate, the, see, see the. Kurt, I used to work with mind mad with the Winston Kurt. I don't know. Aye, aye, aye. Mate, he would always he would be farting constantly. But <laughs> he'd always do that. Multi we'll bigger. <laughs> I like that one. But, but, that's a good tune. Mate, but right. the bad way he said it, it sounded like it made it feel like it was a deliberate act that he done. Like it was a mad performance. He was like, what do you think? I was like, it made me feel like you didn't need to do that then. You what about it? if it just became a habit? But like, I, it definitely was a habit. I just felt like Danny Wax Smelly's fart. <laughs> right, we'll just do the rest in this list then, right? Cool, cool. So, Jordy Seven. It's not that good. Mate, Jordy accents are a bit. No, I get No, I, I. Mate, like, I was thinking about this. See, when I seen this question, I was thinking, like, we could rate this for, like, imagine you were single, right? Mm hmm. And you were like in a bar, and a lassie had this accent. What would you be thinking right. in your head? Jody, like go away, probably. <laughs> mate, like Jody, it's, I it's, like, I it's a know. bit wild, isn't it? I don't like, like it, I, mate. I don't even think I've ever heard a female Jody. Aye, Jody, no. show, bro. Aye, and mate, it's all they're shouting. Scary, and they're, they're scary women. They are bro. actually some of the scariest <laughs> people on earth. <laughs> <that> <laughs> from for me, I like. Personally. I can't imagine you, mate. I don't know. I think you. Could would, you what would you do if I was like? Get a mad Jordy girlfriend, mate. Like, what would you be thinking about that? Like, I would want to see you with her f- pals and that. Like, I'd want to see you in there, my nightclub, do you, all that, do and you, you just start. Do you, that, mate. do you? I love how you're like assuming everybody uh, you guys are, does it. <laughs> <laughs> but no, but, I mean, honestly, he's doing the castle stag dude. Everybody's geared at that, man. Everybody's geared at that. Right, but what were you saying anyway? <laughs> uh, I'd be scared, aye. Right, right. So that's a seven then. Scouse, I like Scouse accent. Scouse is a bit, a bit gritty, a bit, uh, but it's got a. It's but a funny, some, it's some, funny. Is anno- some is annoying though. Like when it's too. When it's like, is if like the. Putting it on. Sitting on it, know what I mean? Aye. Well, I think, like, see, like see, for, like, funny things, I think it's the best, like, see that, like, he's there, you know, da. And, like, that aye, mad part aye. of me, it's, like, see Ned culture, I think it's better in Glasgow. Mm. Like, it's every cunt, like, I'm a, I've got me whips on that, like, they're aye. all mad, like, I don't know, I think, I've, like, I've, like, see, whenever you see videos that are heavy funny, or, like, mad scraps or, like, something, like, whatever, it's always, like, Liverpool, do you know what I mean? Aye. Or, like, cunts bamming cunts up, or Liver- cunts Liver- I think that. Liverpool is similar to Glasgow, but maybe just a bit bigger. I think so, aye. Or maybe and just a, a wee bit more exaggerated or something. Um, Yorkshire. Hey there, Yorkshire. Have you ever heard that? <laughs> no. Can we put that on, please? This is, <laughs> because for a Yorkshire accent, type in, hey there, Yorkshire. You're going to love this, Jamie, by the lyricism for this young man. Mate, this is, um, so, we're only three so questions good. in. I fuck it, we'll just do it. <laughs> If we don't get to your question, well, uh, the law is next time, baby. <laughs> For whatever reason. So no, it. some of them can rattle through. Right, right this young there, man. Yorkshire, we chuffy love ya. Even though the skies are grey above ya. Hey oh, that's there, good. Yorkshire, oh, sure. we really chuffy love, love ya. ya. Come back to mine and have a bacon butter. Oh, <laughs> hey, let's go. I know great, but down Jewsbury Road. <laughs> 
All those Yorkshire girls, no I want to do. I see you actually made this up, bro. I will buy you a drink or two, so we could go clubbing in Barnsley, York or Rotherham, yeah. <laughs> That's fucking class. Mm. Mate, he's got talent and he's eating toast. <laughs> Mate, this lady doesn't even care. Sign this lad up. Utley, Utley, I'm so tear. Mate, he's an uh, Utley. That's a young Alex Turner there, bro. <laughs> <laughs> that kind of is. We don't need some flat. But um, I actually <laughs> do like Yorks for accent if it's Sheffield. No, I quite like that. I, I'm not a fan. I'm nah, right, we'll go six in, right? Welsh, two. I don't know. I'm not like that one. Do you, eh? <sighs> no, nah, the valleys. It's very sharp, bro. But you're always thinking of the absolute <laughs> most extreme version of the accent. That's what I mean. Navy you're like, everybody, <laughs> how you stay, you know, dad? <laughs> you know, and new, you're like, I couldn't imagine you very much get to Newcastle with them all like that. <laughs> mate, but that is all you can do. That's what you base it on, mate. The exaggerated version. See if I'm but basing it on the exaggerated... Other, you don't know one other person from Newcastle apart from, the, like... Alan Shearer, Jake, are you saying that? I would have been at one point. Jake Shearer's like that. Jake, when Shearer found out he didn't need to work match a day, he was like, I mean, Cheryl Cole. <laughs> I did all day in that. But, You're right, oh, man. Mate, that's, that's what's but right, what's that say? Uh, Birmingham. Brummy. Oh, I like it. <laughs> <laughs> What the fuck? <laughs> Birmingham. <laughs> that Jamaican, bro. Birmingham. I mean, no. Birmingham is quite Jamaican, but. Ah, yeah, it is. You're right, mate. Le- is, mate. Like Leon Edwards, he's. Mm-hmm. Jamaican and it's like got it's just got its roots know what I mean it's a good that I like I like Birmingham I like it as a place I know it's a diverse melting pot exactly I love shit like that bro um, what was it aye that's like bigger than Glasgow I know it's like the second biggest aye I, 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 the, the accent is a I, I'm not no, well, I'm it, not a big fan no, I'll be I'm, I'm with you in West Country is they bad get, bro they get, they get a lot of shit though I don't think it's as bad as people make people it people make it but, but uh, this one is mate the West Country do you know that one that See, Hog- like, Hog- it's Hog- like Hog- this. Hog- it's, it's like fucking. Oh, it's like, lover aye. <laughs> it is, mate. It's like Steve Merchant. You know what I mean? Steve Merchant. Mate, get them to fuck. Aye, mate, aye. Get them out. I don't even want to discuss them any further, man. Here's the thing we don't have one viewer in the West Country. I'll put my. Aye, aye, because they don't have internet yet. Um, <laughs> the accent of the home counties, Berkshire. Right, so oh, so that's like posh. Queen's English, like Queen's English aye. <laughs> don't like it, bro. Again. <laughs> Get down, you. Yeah, I love liquid. <laughs> nah, do I like a bit of posh? No, really. See, be fair, it's got its place, but I like when, like, those, like, mad posh old guys. It's like, Ugh. like, it's, ah, got, it's you, like, they some shoot people, it, some I mean. people, ah, like, a mad old guy. Well, I don't me, want them to be me, talking with me. See, when I moved into my gaff, I thought I seen a time traveler, man, there was a guy with this mad suit on and a cigar, Class. and he was just walking about, like, where I say, like, fucking. 2pm smoking a cigar and sitting down and reading a book and getting up and walking about and all that and I was like ah. but he looked as if he was like for Mate, the 1910s and I was like to, he's going to the tenants factory for an ale bro Aye, he's going to get a flag in a veil mate probably so man that, that's what that bitch is about bro would you what, if you were a time traveller like what what is the first thing you would you would do just to fuck forward or back aye like, would you go forward or back and then what would you what would you do I'd go forward like two days, get lottery numbers, win the Euro Millions, give it to my family and tell them I'm t- I'm a time traveller now. I'm going to travel time, so I'll see you after. And but I would, would you just leave? Like, I like I would go about. I'd I'd be a hero. You know what I mean, I've would you try? Be- mate, I love how you just wouldn't even try and take one person with you, bro. I know this has been bestowed upon me. I thought, but so if you if you if I had a time machine. Aye, then you would let a couple of people in. Who, Aye. Who do you let in? You can let five people in, Max. What, just to go and no come back? Aye, like, you can get rid of them, bro. <laughs> <laughs> no, and, like, they're lost to time, mate, can they? They're stuck. Who would... No, Wait, so I don't, I don't like these people. Here's a better question. Who's five people that you would, like, love to send back in time and then be able to watch a TV show about it? Like, be able to watch it? What, like, um, I like, like, I. Like, here's one, I think that... Like, Life you, on Mars or whatever mate, it's like, called? Like you, right? You like the way you talk about Mark Bradley. I think you would love him to be in a mad situation like that and just see how he cut about it. That. <laughs> well, I think Mark Bradley would suit being like back in time, but what what do you think? That, what do you think I don't know. I just think he would get like he I would accustomer. He would just see, see, acclimatize because he's so like he's a mad like friendly cunt. He just ah, makes he just, he makes like he anywhere would, he would fit in somewhere near <laughs> people with me. Like, ah, and he's like quite eclectic. Guy? Like he likes different shit. Know what I mean? Yeah. So like, I can imagine him like 
gone back to the mad fucking like horse and carriage times, gone into saloons and all that. Just and, and really, I would send right? you. Where, where would you I would send, send you heavy forward, right? Like, <sighs> as scary. like three hundred thousand years, right? I'd allow you to collect a few things, and then I would send you way back to the Roman times. So, like, and you need to defend yourself in the Roman times. And you've got five items for the future. As long as you get a gun, you're all right. What are you taking back? So just imagine it like the future's just like the new, but everything's me- me mental. What am I taking back? To, like, either take over the, the Romans. Rom- if you brought one gun back, the Romans would have you. Aye, so that's what but I'm trying to tell you. That's what I'm trying you to say. Just, it's if you're going to have enough bullets to shoot all, all the Romans. I know, but you shoot one, the rest aren't touching you. Aye, the other gun, mate. Oh, you're a mad... Look at that, you're a mad... You're a witch. You're fucking a, spear aye. through the throat and that. Because so before, that's what I'm, before that's, we had aliens, we had witches, bro. That was how it worked. Before people even thought about aliens, it was witches. Aye, it, mate, I was... Anything to explain a mad supernatural thing, it's witches. So listen, you would be, you'd be, you'd be gone, bro. I was listening to a mad thing about that. I want to get back to this, right? But see, like, the reason... A, a big reason why cats are associated with witches is because see during like um i don't know if it was the plague or something the black death or something that came for fleas and if you had a cat you didn't have fleas in your house so because they like got them or whatever Aye, and it was it. all women that had cats so they were like they're witches because they didn't get the plague but their husband did they gave their husband the plague or whatever like because and and that's how like a cat's associated with a witch to this day Quite cool, isn't it? But right. I just, mate, that's one of the things you just never question. Aye, like, mate. Obviously, I just have mad cats. Broomsticks, nah, and that was another thing. Like, cause every witch back in the day, when they went into the house, they had a broom. Cause they were a woman, they mm-hmm. brushed up. Men didn't they brush up? They were like, oh, look, she has a witch. She's got a cat and a broom. You know what I mean? Because that's just what they made up. Mate, they would get cancelled for that these days. <laughs> but mate, right. So right, you're allowed right. to take one thing for right. two things. For when? You said like, you were going to send me 300 aye, years, thousand years in the future. So, how am I, how so am just I imagine it's a, it's a time in the future that's like the new, but more advanced, that's a bit mad, and you can, you've you got mad super weapons just available or whatever, you know what I mean? I'm taking... On, my, on mad super medicines and shit, you know what I mean? Like mad... Pa- I'd take paracetamol. <laughs> Packet of paracetamol. Right, that's, your, that's one of your things that you're the taking big, back to the, the big, road. The big capsules, but... Aye, 500 milligrams. Because there's nothing worse. Travelling makes me nauseous enough. Never mind hurtling through time. There's no doubt I'm going to going have a bit, time warps, There's bro. no doubt I'm going to have a slight to severe migraine by the time I get there. So a couple of paracetamol. That Good is choice, one mate. Thing. I actually respect that a lot. And what I would do is I would give this out to some of the Roman children. Mm-hmm. And I'd say, go, mother, mama, mama, I would say. I think that's how it would go. Mm-hmm. Mama, mama, give to your mama. And they would discover it and they'd be like, oh, it's a miracle. And then... It would kill them, but... No, I think... I think there would be... It would kill, or, 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 every clinical study has to take a few uh, casualties. Uh, you need to break eggs to make an omelette, bro. That's it, mate. So if we need to... If we need to... Kill off a few moths. Kill a few... Women. It's a chance I want to take. So I would have the paracetamol. I would try that. And then if that didn't work, I would take probably a, a heavy, like an assault rifle and just start <laughs> shooting everybody. Like a 200 round mag, just bang, mm-hmm. stay back now, mm-hmm. just slaughter like 10 of them and you go, I'm in charge now. I like, and then I, you become they Caesar would have to un, like They would have to get it. That's You're just like, popping people's seat. They're like, whoa, we need to. <laughs> so they, they just charge you. That's like, you never know with the Romans. That's, that's the biggest. Like this, you said I was talking to you. No, but you were talking about a handgun, bro. I never specified. I just said that gun. You did this. You, uh, you kind of, you, mo- you motioned a, a small pistol. <laughs> you you did that. You did this. Pew. I was actually <laughs> going to specify a drum mic. Oh, oh, I like that. Oh, You're going oh, very, frozen. very Vietnam War with it, bro. I'm talking to drum <laughs> That flag, the red, white, and blue. <laughs> Say Wait, me. We're doing these accents actually. We've done them. We've done them, man. Fuck oh, them. Oh shit! I think I just. Hello, hello. I'm not we're good. Just right. had a wee, a wee kick out of so that. So, on to the next one. Cameron Winchcoe says, I want you to see, I want you to pickled out your boxes and getting a heavy munch <laughs> mukbang type thing. That was, mate, you're obviously pickled at your boxes. <laughs> 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 mate, what is mukbang? Is that the mad cunt that just engulfs just himself? No, shit. but that is, mate, that is, that is like a certain guy in it, that Nico Avocado or something. 
Aye, on no top of it. Mukbang as you did. Aye, that but it's just eating food. Aye, aye, that's, aye, aye, that's, that's just, just a style of video. That's just aye. And is it heavy barking? Is it the ones that eat the mad, I mean, liz- the the mad fucking lizards and all that? Nah, the side men have done it. Nah, can't just get. Like, aye, you KFC. just. Mate, Kaz Milligan done it with fucking me- Miguel. Oh, is that just what that is? It's just getting us I thought it was like the mad... See the mad ones? It's like big octopus tentacles and they dip them in shit and all that. And I it's pure... You've I been watching some weird mukbang. Mate, though. no, I've not been watching it. It was, it was H3 used to talk about how it was heavy, bad and all that ages ago. Uh, but uh, we, we would realistically need to get a pizza and then just sit. Mate, we something, we'll do it one day just for Patreon. Yeah, but but I don't want that out in the mains, bro. Watching us eat. <laughs> 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 Saucer or thing. <laughs> right. Never catch us like that. Jamie, no I sure do love. What do you love, Evan? Clothing. Oh, do you really? I would say clothes are probably one of my honestly one of my favourite things. See, I do enjoy clothes, but I just don't know where to get them. I don't know where to get them. I don't know I don't You did the any. idea where to get no, any like, people <laughs> always talk about clothes. How did you I'm, get like all this stuff? Just, just fuzzle. Like, just, just, I just wake up in the morning and it's there. You know what I mean? So it you just, sleep in it and that right, like I don't know, did you know make this in your bedroom or something? Like, I don't know how clothes I don't are. know where that came from, mate. But um look, if you are looking for clothes trips and a lot of people are looking for clothes like young Jamie here, he's if you're not sure where to ever buy clothes, um the best thing for you to do would be to visit Kintaro Clo. Now, Kentaro Clo are what I would describe it as maybe a bit of a personal shopper, Jamie. Oh. I would like describe that. it as you know how like you go a say you're going to one of the famous festivals that go on all over the nation. Mm-hmm. Uh, you're going to your oh your big dot your terminal V's, yeah. Oh. Your Riverside, yeah. Yeah. Even your Glastonbury's, yeah. Oh, yeah, I love that. Uh, for getting into the big dogs. If you are going to one of these and now you go and you see somebody and they're wearing like a Nike sort of like windbreaker and mad matching shorts and it's like all cool designs and you're like i never seen that in the night out ah, you don't Bishy. get like seeing jd it doesn't come like that no i, it, I always it, end up with like a red tap and green shorts and that it just doesn't look mate, they don't even they don't even stock half it mate no exactly so mate. that's where kentaro coat are going to come in so they are a website that offers all things active wear clothing and footwear and they specialize in nike and under armor jackets t-shirts and full sets so could that be if you were what i say say I'm, i've been going to the gym right Aye. Obviously, I wear my gym jeans every time I go to the gym. Aye, aye, the classic. But, like, you get laughed at in that because, like... Gym Who's gym, laughing at you? Hunters, like, everybody doing it at Mountain Muscle House laughs at my jeans, bro. So, see if I was wanting to up my, my gym clothes game. Yes. Do you think this would suit? I think 100%, mate. He's got gym wear, he's got... I mean, but even at, even at that, it's like gym wear that you could definitely wear. Fashionable shit, bro. Fashionable gym wear, yeah. <laughs> uh, it's all the range. So, troops. Also, what a class thing is... They offer clear pay and Klarna, so everything can be paid for in instalments, which is a massive help. Like me, I get paid weekly. Mm-hmm. Like a good old dish. Aye, uh, cash. You get in the office, you get your fucking pipe out, you get right in the bookies and waste for the whole lot of eh? <laughs> See, you live good that week, got your fucking kick to the house. That's the worst thing, the bookies is next to the boozer, and you're obviously <sighs> going for a pint, and you spend all your money in the house. That's the psycho. Back in the rat race, son. So um, they're going to sort you out with Klarna and Clearpay. I mean, we couldn't make it any more obvious. So you're looking at the website right now. Go and have a wee scroll through it. And when you're buying something, when you're buying those summer, summer gums, use the code GAFF, G-A-F-F, at checkout, and you'll get 15% off anything you buy. So stock up, get that 15% off, make sure it's a good wee chunk you're getting off. And yes, um, enjoy your summer, baby. Cheers. I love a good can of beer. Glug, glug, glug. Yeah, but I'm getting kind of bored. I just like my kind of normal, just plain beers, lagers, pilsners. Yeah. I don't know what I can do about that. I don't know where I can go. Or... I know what you can do, son, boyo. You can get on to Beer 52. Now, Beer 52 are craft beer experts. <sighs> yep, they are. Beer 52 are a monthly beer subscription service. And we've partnered with Beer 52 to give you a very special offer. Beer 52 are going to give you a case of eight free craft beers. Eight free craft beers? Eight. That must be a... That's that's a lie. That's a straight up lie, bro. I would never lie to you, Jamie. Promise. Promise. So eight free beers they're going to give you when you sign up with our code. So go www.beer52.com forward slash Riley, R-E-I-L-L-Y. And you're going to get a free case of eight beers. Now, these beers, as well, I was talking to uh, Jamie about there, these are only beers that have been mass-produced, sent all over the world, 
you know, uncared for, all about the money. These are people who care about the beer. Small they, batch breweries. They ca- aye, they care about the quality of every single can. So, not only that, you're going to get beer snacks with it, you're going to get a magazine about beer as well. Bloody hell, you're going to be beer daft by the end of it, yeah? So, get on it, troops. Eight free beers. Could be a nice wee present for somebody. Mm-hmm. Um, also, if you want to cancel any time your subscription... You can do it. You can pause it as well. Um, they've got beer for everybody. So there's no reason not to get involved, troops. Go hit the link and get those free beers. Right, next question. Jay Cameron, opinions on influencer boxing and an ideal boxing card for Scottish content creators. Oh. Wait, why don't we do like four fi- the four dream fights? Right, right, bro. On? I'd have Scottish Declan versus someday. I know that comes up in a later question, some about Scottish Declan, but I think it would be amazing seeing him boxing, bro. So who could he? Who could he take on? I think Scottish Declan would need to go up against the Scottish. Bearing in mind, Scottish Declan does have a mobility scooter. But, oh, does he? But can have you not seen it? Can walk perfect. He's got a private radio. He's fucking yeah. <laughs> right, right, walk, okay. bro, this, but I've seen him. Mate, he fucking does. He dances. He walks and does dances. He dances like, all the time. That's why I'm like, oh, does he have a mobility? Yeah, so many people have asked us to get a uh, Scottish Declan on, and like, no, like I just, I would, would I do it? Would we do it? I mean, I don't know what I'd say. You know what I mean, like, exactly. I this like is. Yeah, yeah, so? I, I'm, I'm an advocate for Scottish Declan. Yeah, do you know the only say, thing I know about? Wait, wait, wait. Tell us in tell us in the comments. Tell us in the comments. Do you want Scottish Declan on the fucking podcast? Because we will. You know we will make it happen. Do you know all I know about him is that? Do you know how uh, Dan who helps with accounts? <laughs> mate, like our mutual pal, right? So Daniel's like a handsome young man, mate. He's not like he's whatever, but he's got glasses, but all oh, like, stylish glasses and that. And every single time, it's no just Scottish Declan, anybody with glasses that's dancing about and TikTok pops up, Wanny on your I was just sends me saying, Dan. <laughs> like, and it's like, see, when I scroll up my TikTok, it's just him, Dan, Dan, Dan. And I don't even think Daniel knows me. Oh, and that's know, all I know. He knows now. So but, Daniel versus Scottish Declan. <laughs> aye, aye, aye. To, to see who is the aye. real Scottish Declan. What about, would me and you ever do it? If it came about, would you box someday? Mate, like no, mate, they're doing tag team boxing now. Oh, mate, me and you. Yeah, everybody. <laughs> Any one of you. Any one of you, by the way. Yeah, for him. <laughs> for him. He's nowhere we stay, fuck you say. For him. <laughs> for him. Aye, so we would definitely. Nah, what the fuck did that, no? mate? <laughs> <laughs> no, I would, uh, I have tag team boxing, mate. Aye, mate, me and you versus. Who would we versus? Sean and Ben. <laughs> Mate, that would be the best ever, bro. <laughs> mate, that would easy to... But how many pay-per-view buys? Oh, bro. Mate, how many pay-per-view buys? Oh, bro. Charity box. 30 pounds. <laughs> 30 pounds to view, bro. Yeah, true. Get the fuck... It. Look, get... Go. Go get your wallet. Get your card out, yeah? 30 pounds cash. We also accept cash, yeah. We take crypto. Yeah, no, anything. but... Um, Aye, that, that, would, that was three cards with... with mate, I wanted to talk about something as well, just because that's his influence on me. Me and you went to the... Uh, First three, hang not on me. Oh, oh, we get invited somewhere. Funny Ray Daft. Influencer of it. It's not no, that. No, why did you see people posting on their, on their stories and that? Ah, we tagging that. <laughs> no, but we went, and no, it's so funny, Trips, right? We went, and then shout out to Fair Play. Thank you so Aye, much. It was, it was a lot of fun. Um, we had, it's a wee fairground sort of thing, but you can uh, get a booze and it's good food. It's it? like foreplay, the mad golf, it's their new thing, fair play. It's aye, aye. Aye. It sounds it, like, I, I said it to somebody in my work and they were like, ah, is it like a referees convention aye, or something? Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. And I was like, ah, no, it's like fairground. You need to see you it need to see the writing. Aye. Aye. But uh, we went and uh, it was fun, but mate, no, it's so funny. Do you know what I mean? No, remember, like, we go there and like, we took Joey's actually, we took that Joe. So Joe, Joe gave me a lift to yours because I was wanting about us, obviously, and Joseph just started driving. So I was like, pick us up and take Stephen and you bounce in and talk to us and that. And then we ended up inviting him, but we were... Well, how, how sure, like... We were Because obviously we got two tickets, right? And then we're like, fuck Joe's ways. He might as well just try and come in. 
So, but how sure were you that he, he, he was going to get in? I like was honestly near 50 45, mate. 45 percent yeah. sure. I was mere on the side that he'll get sent him. And I kept trying to, like, I don't know why, mate, but I kept going, like, and you'll be all right if, like, you Aye, get there. Because you're trying to prepare him for it. Aye, so, like, this but, is what's coming, mate. But then, like, see, when we went, I was just like, I tell her, I, I, right. I was like, he comes in, eh, he can take pictures and that. <laughs> like, I was like, Aye, right, try, to pay, try to pay his way in. And she was like, it's cool. I here you go. And gave us, like, drink and like food tokens and that because obviously we went in and we met Paul Doc and he broke Connor Riley it's just normal to be allowed yeah, to bring something yeah, exactly you know I mean? man exactly but it was a good laugh that yeah, it was a good laugh but it's so funny just one thing we were in the queue getting drinks and uh, we're obviously laughing about mad stupid shit and pure like just bamming just each saying other just, like, just saying stupid shit and imagine we did that <laughs> imagine you went early and you took it just pure stupid shit <laughs> and then Jamie just turned around to me like and then we had my traps and we <laughs> <laughs> I was like I, mate, I did feel like everybody else is very like mate cunts had people with like lights I, like people had like troops like this is the, the if you want the behind the scenes of the the live <laughs> <laughs> people were what like People got two tickets, one for them and one for somebody to walk about by light. But this mm-hmm. is the, mate, this is like the real, this is like a job, mate. This is, Aye. it's crazy. But though. we, I, I like the fact that like, like, um, <laughs> we posted a story, but you just post, you just took a picture of the ceiling and I done that in front of the thing, in front of the camera. So it was like a blurry, where am I on with the ceiling? And you just done thanks at Fair Play. And Morgan texts me like, you done a pure shite story. And then I went on to their story and I was looking at everybody else's and it was pure like, just pure professional. But then when the other day, like... I don't think we're getting invited back, bro. No. But we've we, we done funny videos, but... No, I mean, come on. Meet the guy. Hold on, hold on. The fucking guy. The fucking guy. You know what I'm talking about, bro? Oh, mate, the fucking guy at the shooting. Mate. This guy. The guy at the shooting thing. Mate, Sorry, he was I'm like getting really stressed here. My wires are getting twisted. The guy at the shooting thing. No, at this fair play, there was a wee. So you go around and it's like you throw the hang of the hang and all that. Just all your fairground palaver. I mean, yeah. he's... But there's this man, and no, obviously the guy who's on like the most dangerous hangs, obviously got to be pure. He was like when we were up to his pure leaning against it, like talked to a bird. It, it was like, like a, what was it like? It was like a mad air it rifle. Was, uh, it's like an air rifle that shoots the BBs, but it's like got a wee scope on it, and you shoot cans and shit mm-hmm. and things. And it was like, I think he's the type of guy. Like, I, think, I bet he used to have a mad license to like. Ah, he's like, well, I have a wield a firearm, and he's got it like uh, laminated <laughs> into the side of his tap or something. Aye. But tell I'm them just starting about that. The coldest line in carnival history, bro. What oh did he say again? He said, he says, he hey done. Uh, it's three, yeah. Just let me load them up. Ah, <laughs> I was like, I mean, this guy, man. This guy, guy. he done that this straight guy. away, mate. He just done. That was cool. It was, mate. It was like, because it was obviously like, he was talking to a lassie just before. Aye, he was pure like leaning against the shooting thing, pure like talking to him. I'd bump me like, mate, can we go on this? <laughs> and he was like, ah, he just turned around and he was like, ah, three, yeah. Let me get him loaded up. And I was like, <laughs> it was so, it was yeah, like cold, guy, bro. John Travolta. <laughs> I know, mate. I was, I was swindled, bro. Aye, it was crazy, man. It was crazy. Um, but aye, we can move on to the next one, I think. Aye. Top five worst places to be stoned out your nut. Right, let's come up with a list together, right? Right. I'll do one, you do one. Right, right? okay, okay. For number one, getting your hair cut. Right. Number two. It can be a place, though, as well. Number two, the hospital. Oh, Aye. Oh, why, bro? That's a that's a traumatic thing. The care home, what like visiting somebody or like you are <laughs> in it? <No. laughs> visiting, I visiting, I or just your grands. Like, you think like you'll be, like think about getting getting baked and then walking through and like you're like hang this is a care home. This is where just all people come to just hang about the till they die. You know, <laughs> what, it's it's a weird be, energy. I can bro. see my brain pure coming through with shit like that. So I don't think I would like to be in a care home. Right, so, so we've got barbers, hospital, care home. I'll say, maybe it might be controversial or something, swimming. No, uh, nah, nah. Swimming bad, good? I would say good. I think good, I was thinking you might be a bit like, <laughs> oh, I, oh, well, I mean, at first, but once you're adjusted, bro, oh, so you can adjust Right, okay, yeah. so I can't think, come on, Rally. Really. Maybe. This one, how bad would the dentist be? The dentist, oh, bro, dentist. a shout, Ding, bro. ding, ding. Winner, bro, somebody fucked that, about that in your f- mouth. Is that four? That's four, mate, so. Imagine the pure mad air gun and all that, you're, you're, you're imagine like, oh my God. Man, nobody will fool your gums, that, like, the mad, uh, like shit they put on it I, I mean I don't go to the dentist no, I've not been to the dentist in like 11 years 
genuinely mm. since I was like a wee guy and I, I, but I went it? I went one no but I went once like a year ago and they were like oh I like there's nothing up here so I'm like obviously I'm not like you're not gonna I, it's like but they were like remember to check in for your six month checkup and I was like no I've not been for like 10 years and that <laughs> is sound I know I know mate it's like see uh Er, my, my, like it's so like you don't go to the doctors and just be like I gonna just check me up no I mean? would be good though but uh, I remember uh, when Erin I told you that Jamie when we got to when we went to Vietnam Erin was like that to me I was like when we get back I think it was when we get back she was like ah, I'm gonna book myself into the doctors and I was like what fun she's like she's got a full full body check and I was like do you think they're going to just put that? But you want just the everything shit. A service. <laughs> <laughs> MOT and service, man. Mate, see, since you've told me that, I think about that sometimes. Mate, it's that, just a, 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 mate, but that's what you do when you're rich. Like, you just uh, you go to Harley you your, Street. You get your blood just done. Yeah, you get your hair. It's called, yeah. mate, there's that's a street do. in London called Harley Street and it's all the private doctors. How much and do you it's think, heavy, like, Budo. How much money do you think you'd be earning, right, a year until you actual paid like for just regular Mate, bot, like work and all that oh, like, right. um i like regular shit. i was gonna shit. say like i would probably if i was even if i had like five grand more i would go private probably i actually probably would like for like i don't know just hate being in like but when me in, in well in vietnam like i told you you go in the hospitals there you go in and the bottom flare is all like cunts that like don't have money right so they're all waiting in mad massive queues they're all all pure it's, it's are, shame, right? it, you go in you go in you go up to like the person you just tell them like what what you're wanting that day like what why you're there and everybody's in that same queue but once you get to it you go i the vip thing blah 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 pay it you go up in a lift mate massive couches coffee machines that's, in the same mate, building that's in like the, a pure like that's a pure physical representation of like the upper class I, like, the, the people that are better than you are up here that's so, horrible mate but, that's actually mate I, I mate it's just so weird and it's so out in the open I so just like as if like but that's like but that's, that's like kind of it's the exact well. same as here because it's like you need to go to Bell's Den if you want not I mean it's similar like I, but they're just mere like aye, like that is what it's like. So mm. that's what the world's like. So I don't know. It's mere like open my bit a wee aye, bit. Aye, aye. Um, so. But aye, so definitely the dentist is the worst. I think. And then we've got one mere. Um, a gun range. Aye, I would say. So. I, but we've never done that. So did you, did you go paintball and bait? No, no. I was gone if you were gone. Have been intense. I was gone if you were gone, but I don't. I, I don't know if I did actually in the morning or something, but I, I don't think so. Yeah. Um, I think that would have been. I was me. I was actually shaking myself like what being bait, mate. I was like, I mean, I used to go paintball when I was a wee guy and just run about daft, mate. That dying, I know. Mate, and this time I was like, <laughs> <laughs> mate, it's cause like, mate, mate. Do you know? Do I, do I tell you the story about me got the paintball and a wee guy and like the cunt who was like the pure nutter of school, <laughs> like we, he was there and all. And we're like in like P seven or something, right? right? And I remember we went paintballing for a boy's birthday and like. Obviously, the the powerful guns like uh, you, like you wouldn't just shoot, I wouldn't just shoot you if you hear me a paintball no, like hurt. right. So like obviously they're like keep your distance blah blah blah. And like we're walking up to the bit to start it, but so we walked like single file. And I remember I was holding my gun <laughs> and I just my, my trigger finger must have got itchy, bro. And I just done that, and he was in front of me, and I just done that, and the actual popped his leg, and he was like, ah, ah pure screaming. I was like, oh my god, are you shaking god. yourself? I, but I was pals him, so like even if I was like it was me, he wouldn't have like but it was like fuck man. Did you know admit it was you? Still doesn't know. <laughs> bro, I think I was just like, so mad about that. They, they like, started it already, no, they so mad about that. No, how sometimes you tell a story and I'm like, mate, and a heavy some lying up to me. I was fucking outside paint bomb and I was like seventeen or something, right? And I was like, I grew up my pals and we were like boozing and that and it was a pure good laugh, but then one of the lassies were away said like oh I don't want to do it like I'm scared in that and she like was outside and she like took her helmet off and I went to like go at that oh, it's alright and I done oh, no it's fine and as I done that mate I done bang and hit her there mate and actually wear a mask off and that and she went shock right and she was like oh, why did you say that I was like I'm so sorry I didn't mean it the mad safety wasn't on me oh my god bro and I remember I hunters it like that f- that you know why are you dodging that one bro? <laughs> Wait, no I know but like that full um, that time like that stuff like that happened like 10 times like cunts like bang bang like by accident mm-hmm. so I think they're a dangerous thing bro they I wouldn't want that ban it, ban it that right. can be the last okay, one okay next one I watch along or 
review of an episode of the Scheme program is full of gold. Maybe we'll watch it on Patreon. But Maybe, it's yeah. a bit. I don't know. The Scheme's a bit weird. Like this is a hang trip, right? This is what I'll say about the scheme. See, at the time, right, it was the funniest thing in the world, right? right? It was like, le- it was like everybody was like, ah, you've seen this thing. But see, watching it new, it it's, feels a bit... It's aged bad, du- I think. Aye, it's a bit, it's a bit dirty. Because I, I like my, my poverty porn and that. Like Jeremy Kyle used to be Aye. good when you're, you know what I mean? And like mad shit like that. And now you're just like, these are mad actual people, you know what I mean? And Aye. it's just like, meant to be entertaining. Aye, it's weird. I- but Even though is, I get, I like, get, I get, like why people are like it's gold, but it's like I think, mate, we could watch that on Patreon and mm-hmm. actually do that, like critically think about just it, just be like oh, uh, analyze it and shit. A, a cultural uh, review by Jamie <laughs> Kelly and Evan Riley. <laughs> mate, a that cultural can be analysis. Jamie's by cultural <laughs> review. This is our dissertation. I'll do a cultural review, review every week, bro. Right. I actually, will. By right, let's go on to the next one. Um, Got to got to try use the Ewan McVicker Jota connection to get a Celtic player on by Sean. Um, I don't see that happening. I'm Man, gonna be honest. It I would don't. be it would be it would be unreal. Who bro. do you think? Who do you think? If you could pick one to get on, right? One, mate, probably probably Jota. I would mate, think Jota so, is no. like the most. Mate, who, like, who, who, mate, Jota's actual charismatic. I, no, I would get I would get I, Adam Moy on. <laughs> Bro, Jamie, you don't know. Aaron Moy has been doing uh, the pressers after the game for Celtic, like every game, because he's been playing heavy well, mate. And he's like this wee Australian guy, and he just goes, he's so shy, bro. He's, he's like, like, yeah, yeah it's, was- it's good. <laughs> I know like that. So, nine, I mean, nine games unbeaten, and you've scored another goal and all that. And it, uh, it, he's just like, uh-huh. yeah, we, we, we like it. <laughs> I mean, it's just like, and not like, I mean, and he always does that sweet eyes, not that. Like, yeah, just, you're like, get him out. Like, I want to just take him off it. He's a bad. precious cunt. No, so I, mean, I would have Adam Moy on. Um, um, no, we don't. We don't need to watch. Uh, we don't need to watch. Star with it. That's legendary, but it's not the links. No button. Jack Hanna, if you were offered a Spotify deal making 15k a month, would you take it? Means the podcast is exclusive to Spotify, so no Patreon, no YouTube. <laughs> mate. Give me sign me up, mate. mate I would, that. I would see for fifteen grand a month. I would do anything, mate. There's no a lot I wouldn't do for fifteen grand a month, bro. <laughs> like genuinely, mate. I after tax, much you, much you get, much you think you get that if you made that a month. Nine k, nine and a half or something. Aye. Nine point, nine point five, nine point six. So that's what's that? Four and a half each, bro. Uh, yeah, <laughs> mate. Taking that all day, but like, sorry to the Patreon. Like these are the best. Why genuinely. would they not be allowed a Patreon? But no, you would. You can still do a Patreon. I know, but, he's, but it looks no, a bit. He's Jack it Hannah looks a bit greedy though. <laughs> <laughs> like, keep my Patreon for like we're getting this fifteen grand a month, but you keep a fiver. I know. <laughs> because think about it, like you, you everything would just be free because we'd have so much money. We would. We even... could do a podcast every day, Jack. If you know how to make this happen, brother, fifteen k a month. But look. Mate, you get a skim of the profits and all, bro. You get. Uh, you, you made get, the deal, bro. You can get five. <laughs> right, five, ten percent. Cheers. Bro. Is this who sent this in? Kaylin Clark. Oh, it's um, Davy here. Let's see. Let's just watch this one. We've oh, watched aye. it before, but we'll watch. We'll watch this one. Davy here. I'll go for my lunch today. I'm having sausages and a hot dog roll. Go out of the freezer. <laughs> Why you had that in? You know what I mean? Doing the sausages just to make it grimmer for a few minutes. Go out of the freezer. Put the kettle on for a cup of tea. So I like it. It's so like um, education. What's that? Wait, what's it? Wait, hold on, hold on. Pause, pause. What's oh, that? It's just call me. It's just ham, bro. Call Chill. Me, I give my cat called me. You're not allowed to do that, bro. You're not allowed to do that, bro. It's like he's still over. What are you here? Yeah, it's the sausages with the meat. Oh, fucking crap. Oh, bro. Right, I've put the sausages in the toasty bag and the toaster to cook them a bit. Put sausages yeah. in the toaster, the bro? Sausages cooking in the toaster. I buttered the hot dog roll and made a cup of tea. Toasted sausages. Yeah, the sausages out of the toaster. So I bet me brune looking. <laughs> Why not? It's, it's called cooked, <laughs> mate. There's a word for it. It's, it's, it's called cooked. How would you like your goes. steak? Brune looking. <laughs> I guess it brune and black. <laughs> yeah, I've just noticed he's still got an old, like, four by three telly. Mate, this is a time <sighs> travel. Aye, mate, that aye. So this is the guy that was outside like my man. flat. That's like the gaffer Sonic <laughs> King. That's like the gaffer Sonic King that's going to be up here. Gaffer Sonic Television, bro. Right, cheers to that, Kaelin Clark. That was actually quite funny. Um, David, spicy noodle challenge or blindfold taste Mate, test? But we'll obviously can't do that today. A lot of eating shit, bro. Aye, people want to see us eat, see us eat, man? Right, Ross, if you're getting a breakfast roll, what do you get on it? 
Hmm. Right. I'll, I the here's what I I do. Right. If I'm if I'm really in a morning roll mood. Right. Here's what I'll go. I will go. Obviously, crisp two crispy rolls here. We're talking, right? Yep. I'm going square sausage and tax scone in the first roll. Yeah, Beautiful. bit of brown sauce. Brown right? on brown. that. Oh. Brown with the scone. Right, and then for the other one, I'm getting bacon and fried egg. The yolk, if it's if it's dry, shove it up your pie. That's what I'll say to the girl <laughs> down the phone. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going Don't that, say that. And, and I'm saying, <laughs> and I'm saying, <laughs> sriracha. I'm saying, stick a knife in that that yolk and let it run down and that is my sauce I don't need sauce for this no but sriracha the yolk the yolk of an egg is like the the blood of a steak oh I like that mate it, it, it carries it, it carries the meal bro it's, it, does, it doesn't need if it's um, done right it doesn't need a lot ages, right <laughs> that, is. that is a good tune isn't it um, right so what am I doing uh, mate I'll go for like see these days bro I'm flush now you know what I mean I've got a bit of cash. I can afford your avocados and that. So usually I'll be getting like toast and avocado, toast, tomatoes, avocado, shit like that. What that's, are you talking about, mate? The West End accent uh, that's, what, like, that's what I mate, like, He's bro. talking about a breakfast roll. That's what I'm saying. Like, like you're getting avocado? They don't come around as much anymore because I'm on to the, I'm on to the, the right. omelettes. But the if, fucking, if you had to dip your toe back in. Aye, right? like back into like, aye, like so rolls in the morning mate, rolls sausage and grilled onions, like onions on the mad thing. You know and you were getting dirty mate, this yeah. is alright, I can start seeing the dark side already mate. Bit of brown sauce on Oh that, right? you fucking dirty bastard, you dirty bastard. For this one bro right, you've got bacon, <gasps> black pudding, oh. egg. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> dirty bro, dirty thing. You hungry? Black pudding and egg, mate. That's like the pure, the dirty combo, bro. That's when you're feeling like, mate. How, what, like, what do you think you would look like if you had what, eh, three of them a day, every day for a year? What do you think you would end up looking like? Do you think you would, mate, how, think, how different do you think it would be? Well, it depends. What every you're, every day you wake up, you have a roll, bacon, black pudding, and what? Egg, egg, <laughs> and brown sauce. And Did you? Just, Tomato sauce. Tomato bro. sauce. So you have that for your breakfast, lunch, and dinner every day for a year. And that's it? That's it. Mate, I think I'd be skinny, swear to God, bro. You probably would. The carnival diet, almost. <laughs> <laughs> like the, Mate, I'm, the, doing, I'm doing that carnival <laughs> diet. What's the mad guy? I'm on a roll, baking. <laughs> the liver king. <laughs> I mean, that's a liver I'm king. Just roll it. <laughs> but, um, aye, so that's, that's, that's your breakfast rolls. But see, be fair, just you can't be your own baking. Opinion on Scottish Declan, Regan J. Bowl. Thank you. Uh, kind of gave Scott- it. Aye, Scottish Declan is he a is he a mystery? Absolutely, is he a legend? I would say definitely. Mm-hmm. He has built a mass following. If you want him on the podcast, we will make it happen. The only thing is, troops. The thing is, what the fuck have we got to talk to Scottish Declan about? It's, really? I think you actually could get him because he's missions away, isn't he? Oh. Yeah, yeah, we'll get a bit of that Patreon money. <laughs> <laughs> you guys are paying for. Who else is with you guys in the Patreon? A paper Scottish <laughs> Declan to get a bus to get, to get a for some. <laughs> That um, is, and if uh, that is n- no, no better him, reason to sign up No, I'd say to him, mate, I'd say his videos are hypnotic Because I watched them like four or five times uh, Every time like, they come up, it's like, he's sitting he's like he's like And all a, that, and it's just like He's like a fun little just watch it again he's, he's like a fun little snake Like a wee anime or he's something just a bit like But he's like, you're like, this doesn't he but and it's good and he turns to the side and he kind of... But he's got me. Ah, he's got I'm something, like, bro. He's got something and he's all... Ah, what a legend. He's got, he's got, got the X-Factor, X- 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 bro. Jamie, you're a big advocate. I love the guy. <laughs> <laughs> right, right, well, tell us in the comments if you want to get him on. Where's yeah. he from? Fuck no. Sorry. Mars, bro. No, there's buses everywhere, but he's <laughs> <so you're laughs> nowhere near. Anyway, it's good they can use a bus service, yeah. Support your local bus service. Craig Duncan sent us a link to something. 53 minutes. Following content has been identified as inappropriate. It just means you need to log in, but it's a documentary about the warlords of Liberia. That's that Mate. guy, that's Right, that's aye, guy. well... What's his name again? General Buttnick? Je- aye. General Pinochet or something So, like Craig that. Duncan, we'll watch... What is it called, Nick? Oh, I've just went off it. We'll watch... Cannibal warlords of Liberia. Right, that is something we will watch, but maybe know the news because it's, it's 53 minutes long. We'll but just do it for a, like, a... We'll do a watch along on that. Aye, a wee extra thing. That sounds one. good, thanks for that. Um, Dylan Jackson, tomato or lentil soup... <laughs> Oh, who's making it? My mammy. <laughs> it's, uh, it's your, it's your favourite, your favourite of both. My favourite of both. Do you see my tomato soup the other day, bro? Sent you a picture. Oh, of them, mate, you like a soup, eh? Mate, I, I'm, I've you're got, a bit of a soup guy. I've got right into cooking, bro, oh. and see, like, 
So you roasting the tomatoes, peppers, garlic, chilies in, that that, is, in that oven and then mashing them up. Mate, that. do you know what it is about like making soup and that? It's a mad like process, then this, and then I'm adding this. And, and then it like just turns mad, into soup, man. And you're like, oh, it's, it's a it's it's spiritual, it's aye, spiritual. It is, mate. And, but aye, that, that, if it's that tomato soup, that beats anything. Bro, my like, red pepper tomato soup beats anything. I'll take Jamie's soup and all. Uh, got another belter video in my pal who has been. Can I send it on here? I'll send it to Evan. Oh, fuck, Dylan I don't Jackson. even know. We'll watch it in the next one because I don't even think I've seen it. This one was fake, Josh. Right, Josh is sent hey, in. Live, G- Joe from Dance Off, live from Jake Ball Towers. <laughs> what is that? Right, boys, live, Jake Ball Towers. Alan's ready to start the dance off. Go! Just when you're ready, yeah? <laughs> oh, that's really good. Oh! 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 Oh, no. Bro's got moves. <laughs> See, having a stroke, bro. Somebody just shouted, "He's getting right in about it." <laughs> I wish I was there. You're not beating that. Nah, nah, why is he beating that? So like we see a representative on one side of the Aye, yeah, 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 that was the Rangers, man. That was a good rate. Did he take a key or something by? Yeah. <laughs> we know you're no, but get a, get a try, go for it. Come on, come get on, do it for the Selic. Let this side down. Here goes, boys. He's building up the energy. Is that, this is like Stan, <laughs> lose yourself or something. <laughs> oh! Mate, he won. He won, mate. That was sexy. Oh feeling. my god, he's back. Mate, see, you're embarrassing nah, yourself now. Nah, 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 nah. Take the defeat, that man. <laughs> he actually went for looking like fucking <laughs> Stan. Hans, that's nice. They shook Hans at then. Aye. Brilliant. He, aye, that's good. That's good. Good old fun fashion fucking play. <laughs> right, so Rido Mullen has asked us to react to folk getting attacked half girls. See if you can find that video, Jambo. Doesn't need to. It's not one video. He's just talking about in general. <laughs> aye. Aye, just find it for me. Aye, find a video. Type, in, type in worst seagull attack on aye. human. <laughs> Let it work. I mean, that'll be gruesome. <laughs> I know, but I want to see it, sort of. Seagulls being jerks compilation. Mate, do you know I what? get a bit of that. Mate, do you know I watched a film the other day called Birds? Alfred, oh my God, Alfred bro. Hitchcock, mate. Aye. And it's about, like, actual birds attacking somebody in, in this wee island and that. And I was That's like, my no, worst nightmare. Aye. Aye. Anyway, sorry. Come on, man. Oh! It was quite calm, though. I this quite is actually it. the hardest thing I've ever watched in my life, mate. Listen to the tune. <laughs> Motorhead or something, man. <laughs> see, they don't want to fight, they just want your scran. I want to see them at war. Oh. Oh, oh. oh Evan, that must be horrible, bro. <laughs> mate, it's so bad. It's terrifying, bro. I a bird inside's always bad, mate. Oh! Oh! Like, <laughs> like a rat to give me everything, bro. Oh, no. Don't. You're teasing them. You're teasing them with doing, that. Doing air beach, look. Oh, fuck that, Where bro. Where did that thing go? It is just stole some of a penguin, bro. It's maybe your big bra, mate. Penguin's your dad. Whoa. Mate, these things blow my mind. Mate, have you ever seen type in seagull eating rat, bro? I've seen that. I need to see that. <laughs> what was that? I was playing mad sad music there. This is in Glasgow, mate. <laughs> no, it makes it worse, Jamie. What do you do? Mate, down the gullet, bro. Oh my God, bro. Mate, I see my man that struggled. Go get get up and all, man. It's struggling, bro. That's a rat. A, 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 I see, I see oh, a rat. I see get a rat eating a seagull. It's a white rabbit, Jamie, bro. Jamie, get a rat eating a seagull, mate. Get that. <laughs> Swallows a whole rabbit. Mate, oh, surely no, man. Look at the size of that big boy. Why is it there, mate? Calm down. Can we show that? Aye, fuck uh, it. Calm down, man. You, you oh, struggle. my God, the legs. You've got time to eat later on. Look, even even the other ones are like, mate, you're actually embarrassing, man, honestly. <laughs> Why do you always do that when mate, we come cut, here? Mate, cut Harold, why are you always doing that <laughs> every time we come out? Mate, just beak fuck it like the rest you, is. Finishes it. Aye, of course, mate. Oh, do you want to know he's why? No, he's no getting up news came this far. Do you want to know why? That is insane, bro. Seagulls and all birds eat like that. Because they've no teeth. They've no got a gullet, so they need to use gravity, so they go... And jerk it back because they can't oh. push food. We've got something that 
Pushes food in front of Jamie, dinner. Jamie, can you, go af- can you pull that picture of that outfit I sent you up? Where is it? Uh, on WhatsApp. Look <laughs> how fat this cunt is, man. Mate, aye, that's insane. Oh, done, mate. Aye, wait Imagine it, but. Wait till you see this, mate. Wait till you see this outfit. Mind, mind you, ask me what's the scariest thing you could imagine. Oh, aye, yes. Aye. I seen it, but no quite. Why is that still one, bro? I'll, I'll show you. <laughs> I seen this on Facebook. Hold on, I'm just sending myself. There we go. I look at that, bro. Full, full human size owl costume. Oh, bro, I don't like that. You seen that on Facebook? I, I don't think I, I don't know if I seen it or I seen somebody posting it, but it's on Facebook, obviously. No, it's I'm, in I couldn't have seen it. I, I must have seen it somewhere. But um, is that not a bit like? Mate, um, that is a bargain for that, mate. Wogsy, I wonder how much Wogsy's toasting peas costume is. I know, I know. Mate, mate he went to Hobbycraft and made all that. Did he actually? Have you not seen it? No, mate, I've seen it, but I didn't really make it. Wogsy on to w- and w- he needs to wear that. The right, okay, time. mate. This is like now furries in America. This is Aye. that's it's Bird, creepy here, birdies. bro. Birdies, bro. Beakies. That's scary, man. Ah, you know you that's don't scary. want that shit, bro. Right, um, Right, cheers, Rydell Mullen. Right, uh, so Josh Millen's asked us to rank illegal substances. Right, this is a good... And what are illegal substances? Uh, some sort of dark magic. Ivory, bro. Ivory, I... Ivory, number one. Uranium. Uranium, number, uranium number, one. And number two. <laughs> number, <laughs> number three, uh, the Greek marbles. <laughs> Mate, did you know the days of the week are named after God? No. Did you know that? Wednesday like must Thursday's be after Thursday. Oh, really? What's and Wednesday? I don't. I, I get them up. I get, get them up. up. That's fu- it's weird. Right, I'll, I'll illegal substances. Say... Weed is the first one. Number one, Mushy's second. Eki's mm. third. Top three, mate. Aye, I need or agree. acid or something. Aye. Aye, things like that. Just things that are like no matter. Oh, not things. Here's what we don't like: spice, full fat coat, <laughs> sodium, Sp- spice, and I cannot do glucose. Paint, no. Don't be huffing the paint. No, definitely no. Sniffing glue, not at all. <laughs> Don't be right. drinking paint. Right, mate. So Sunday is named after Domingo. Is that what it is? No, it's Sol. <laughs> oh, I sorry. Sol. So the sun god, obviously. Uh, Monday is Luna, the, the the moon god. Tuesday's Mars. Why? But Mars was the god of war. But why Tuesday? Nothing to do with Mars. No. Mate, it's that like lo- is is um, Monday in French no Lundi, so it's like Luna. So oh, I looked in there, mate. Italian Lundi, uh, uh, right? Is Mardi, so right? Mardi Mars, right? That's cool, right? So Wednesday is um, Mercury. Aye, uh, in French it's Mercredi. Mercredi. Oh, aye, aye. Like uh, Thursday is Jove, which is Jupiter. I it was um. Wait, hold on, is this? And in Spanish, that's Juve. Let's see it. Uh. I thought you were right, but I thought it was Thor, eh? Maybe. <laughs> Do you know what Thor's, Thor's, Thor's like a mad Nordic god, mate? Yeah, this is surely we we'll couldn't both have had that thought. We've got another one here. I think, I think it's after I can... Tuesday, look, that's changed now to you. Thursday, Thursday, aye. Thursday, aye. Right, so this is a right one. Let's support our facts, bro. But aye, that's cool. Monday, Middle English, aye. So, aye, that's cool, mate. But, um... Are we going to just wrap up there? I think that's us at a time, isn't uh, it? Aye, I think we are at a time trip, so hope you enjoyed it. And if you want to get involved, Patreon trips, thank you so much for your suggestions. These are the best. That made a good episode. Aye, it was mate, just purely just on... the trips, mate. They've just, all got good, the same... Purely on vibes. Yeah, just vibes. Vibes alone. <laughs> um, so, cheers to the trips on Patreon, man. Like, If you want to get involved with that, if you want to be able to fling in suggestions we're going to get a discord started as well I definitely mean, I keep I, I, I've been saying I was going to do it for weeks we've got so much on Jamie's designing new merch as we speak baby <laughs> so that'll be coming soon and trips getting new things coming out on Patreon we're going to get the kind of different wee things you've came up uh, and done shit yourself and that's, yeah. we're diversifying our brand oh, bro we're, we're, we're um, enhancing our palettes a bit so <laughs> troops hope you enjoyed it if you want to get involved patreon.com forward slash Riley Scaff thank you so much for listening watching and being alive, not being alive. Thank you. Catch you later. Moon being alive.